Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Story Food Channel. So today is Tiosafi special. I'm gonna show you my method of doing it and I'm gonna go through the whole recipe. I mean the step-by-step -step recipe which includes the Tiosafi, the stew and my tasty ayoyo soup. So please keep on watching this video and I'll see you very soon. So let's get started. I chose to use fresh beef meat and also fresh goat stripes. We also have a turkey here and also our beloved onion willy. I'm going to blend one and a half onion, ginger, so that it flows, two scotch bonnet peppers and, and I'm also going to add half minced onion. So now put all the meat into a large enough pan. Don't forget to add the can of really. And then blend the onion, the scotch onion, the pepper, the ginger, and garlic cloves. Don't forget to add enough water to it and blend it into smooth. Now pour the blended mixture on the meat. Add half minced onion. Now add one beef stock cube. And also one small medicine and some salt to taste. Cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. My dear friends, now my meat is ready. I left mine for about 25 to 30 minutes because my goat tried was still hot. So now I'm going to separate it from the stock and keep the stock aside. Please do not throw it away. We are going to use some for something else. Now for this too, this is me but I like some geisha micro. We're going to use some sunny palm oil. So if you can get that one, it's the best. I have two chopped onion, one maggi cube stock, some beef seasoning. And we are going to blend all of these for us too. We'll I have some bakushito here, one scotch bonnet pepper, some dawadawa, three garlic cloves, some ginger, and one and a half onion. I'll be also using some plum tomatoes. So I have here two cans. So in the blender, add the plum tomatoes. You can also use fresh ones if you like. The ginger, the pepper, and the garlic cloves and blend it until very smooth. In the meantime, heat some palm oil in the pan and when the oil is hot enough, add two chopped onion. Stir it and let it cook until tender. Next, add in the tomato mixture. Stir it well again. And as I was saying, please feel free to use fresh tomatoes if you like. Cover it and let it on for about 10 minutes. Next, you can add the meat. So when you put on the oil sauce, or choose up a sauce, you don't fry the meat. Okay? So add it and then make sure you stir it very well. And as I was saying, this is completely optional, but I am going to add a small mackerel in tomato sauce can. And then I'm going to stir it. I am now adding my dawa dawa. So dawa dawa is also called locust bean. And it is a flavor enhancer and it is mostly used in stews or soup. Now I'm gonna add my beef seasoning, my maggie stock and some salt to taste and then I'm gonna stir it and leave it on for another 15 to 20 minutes on the lowest heat possible and then my stew will be ready. For the ayoyo sauce you need 
juke leaves which is also called a wudu in tree language and i'm afraid you can only get it from the Ghanaian shops don't forget to take it out one by one and to wash it well okay it is very important i'm gonna have some salt so i have my leaves here if you want you can also use the frozen one but i didn't like it at all i prefer the fresh one here i have minced half an onion i have enough dawa dawa so about one tablespoon paposhito one plum cube and i'm gonna use one teaspoon of brown and here I have my stock. Remember the one I told you to keep. So the next step is easy. We are going to blend our jute leaves. Okay. And don't forget to add some water to make it easier for you to blend it. And make sure it is smooth. Okay. And as I was saying, if you want to use the frozen one, you just need to put it into a pan and let it heat up. Okay, so once you have done that, put it aside and in a large pan, add about one and a half cup to two cups of your meat stock. And then add half an onion minced. And this is optional, but I would advise you to do it for the flavors. Next, add some dawa dawa so this is about one tablespoon it is very important dawa dawa when making chiosa sauce then add one teaspoon full of ground brown and one brown stock cube don't forget to add some salt stir it and leave it on for about five to seven minutes until it starts to reduce and to thicken up a bit next add the blended jute leaves or able to leaves and don't forget to stir it well i really hope you can find the dawa dawa as i was saying it is very important and it gives that flavor you know so when you do that leave it on for another five minutes and don't forget to add your two bako sheet and then it will be ready so for a change i have decided to use this global sunshine chiozafi mix or tiyuhu it is my first time using this one i usually prepare everything myself so let's see all the instructions are behind the container so i am going to follow this and then we will see what happens next so i'm gonna pour half of the flour in a bowl and then i'm gonna add enough water to get rid of the lump okay so until i have a smooth mixture and i'm gonna show you here so this is what we are looking to achieve okay guys right so in the meantime don't forget to boil some water so about five cups of water and when the water boils add the mixture and stir continuously okay so do not leave it stir continuously okay guys and after 15 to 20 minutes a dough like this should be forming and the chosen here will be ready so now how to serve it so if you're not using it now i suggest you put some clean fill into a small bowl add some chiozafi and wrap it up just like this but if you want to do it like in ghana and eat it straight away scoop some chiozafi balls so here is for my husband so he wanted three balls so i scooped three balls and then add some ayoyo sauce and remember the ayoyo sauce has to be more than the actual red stew okay and it has to be tasty it's the most important okay do not forget that and then add your red sauce don't forget to add the meat and you're all ready to enjoy it 
to everyone this was my special tozavi ayoyo and stew recipe i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate and i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye bye take care of yourself